So I'm at the Metro Rail Station. This could go horribly wrong. <laughs> Very horribly wrong. We'll see what happens. Let's get on it. Let's see how this adventure works out. I'm doing this for science and for all of you. Forget taking the train to the cruise board. It doesn't work. Oh, I'm gonna to the body shop. Look at that. All right, made it to the cruise terminal. It's nuts. Look at all these bags. This is crazy. We are about to get a show. Good morning, Midships family, Corey here. I'm at the airport, and I've got a cruise to catch today, but my flight leaves in 15 minutes. Let's see if we can make it. Miami. Let's get that luggage and get to the cruise ship. So I have nothing but time here in Miami. I literally don't board until 3 p.m. You know how strict they're being with these boarding times too. So I'm gonna experiment and play around. I'm gonna try it's called the Metro Rail. I don't know. I read about it on Cruise Critic and it seems like a pretty cool, affordable way to get to the cruise terminal. If you got a little bit of extra time, I guess traveling by train wouldn't be the worst thing. I can't remember the last time I traveled on a train, so see if you can have some fun on this Metro Rail. This could go horribly wrong. <laughs> Very horribly wrong. We'll see what happens. Let's get on it. So I'm at the Metro Rail station. Came up to one of these ticket kiosks. They're self-service. They take cards, they take cash, they take coin. It's a little confusing. The fare that you want is the trip or pass with ticket and it shows you right along the top here what buttons you have to push here to go ahead and do that. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with this Metro Rail. Oh, and one more thing. We are going to the government center and we are gonna transfer from there. $225 was the cost to get all the way to downtown from the airport. Then I have to switch over to another line to call, it's called Bayfront. That'll take me about a mile away, mile and a half away from the cruise port. Well, let's see how this adventure works out. I'm doing this for science and for all of you. Now, the Metro Rail seems pretty clean, and if you're wondering, they're air conditioned. Okay, let's ride the train. This is very confusing, but let me make it clear to you. When you get on the rail at the airport, you're going to go one station, and then you have to get off because this train is going straight back to the airport. You're gonna get off if you're heading towards the cruise port. You're gonna walk straight across the platform and hit the southbound train. It's the orange line. It's arriving now. Let's get on board. Hard to get good light here. We're gonna go and try train number two. At this point, I'm totally lost. It says green. I thought I was supposed to do orange. Let's see where this takes me. There's a kind local who's taken me under her wings. Let's see how this goes.
one eternity later. Okay, I bailed on the Metro Mover. Got totally lost. We're in an Uber now. I got Mario at the wheel. We're getting to the cruise ship. Forget taking the train to the cruise port. It doesn't work. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna to the body shop. Look at All right, made it to the cruise terminal. It's nuts. Look at all these bags. This is crazy. There's a lot of people on this ship. It's about to be a busy cruise. Let's get checked in. All right, made it through the first check-in step. It's gonna be a busy cruise. I'm seeing a lot of people here. That was a packed terminal. I'm not sure if my film's gonna do it justice. On to step two, they're gonna yell at me for filming. We'll see you when we're almost on board. So a quick update on the check-in process. It's been about 45 minutes so far. MSC has some fantastic folks around here guiding you through it. It's gonna be a busy cruise. Looking forward to getting on board. I got about 20 minutes or so left, and we'll get you on the ship. We'll see you on there. Well, it's uh, through security, it's through check-in, it's time to get on the ship. You know what that means. It's almost time for the cruise dance, baby. We're heading up the escalator, getting on board the MSC Seashore. Seashore? Seashells. Thanks, guys. Seashells. Seashells by the seashore? I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get on the ship. Before we get on board, I'm here with all my YouTube channel fans. You've subscribed to my YouTube channel already, right? It's Midships, the one you're watching right now. Well, if you do me a favor, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and mash that button or that button. I don't know what side it's on, but get subscribed. We're taking you all along on this 14-night cruise. We're gonna go see some amazing places. Now, we gotta get on the ship. Let's go. Look at all these people. And while we're on the extra long walk, into the cruise ship. I just want to address how long it took to get checked in. Oh, hey, got some carnival ships over here, got some royal ships over there. Don't you just love looking at all the cruise ships when you come to port? We got to address how long that check in just took. That just set the record for the longest cruise check in I've ever come across. It was over an hour long. That's, is that a long time? Let me know in the comments below. It seemed like it was a long time. This ship looks really fancy. I can't wait for this cruise. And just like that, here we are on board the ship. It's so late in the day, it's already almost 2.30. Probably have the cabin ready. I'm going straight upstairs. Forget, forget everything else. There's something special about this room, and I've never actually had one of these on a cruise ship. Behind this door right here, my bathroom door. Very cool. I think I'm gonna use this, even though it's probably too small for me. Look. I have a bathtub. It's a bathtub on a cruise. I've never had this before. Okay, all checked in, on board the ship, got my cabin, that's the wrong light switch. For some reason, I only have a Carnival Cruise Line lanyard right now. I'm not sure why, but it's time to go and check out lunch. See what we've got here. Oh, suitcases are getting here. Amazing. Let's see what we got up in the Marketplace Buffet is what they call it on their ship. Honestly, I have no idea where it is. I'm hoping they have a nice handy guide right outside the elevator. Oh, thank goodness. Let's see where it's at. Marketplace Buffet. Perfect. Deck 16. Now the elevators are kind of strange here. You just tell it what floor you want to go to. 16. Car A. And it picks out an elevator car for you. So we'll just wait now for car A. Let's get some food.
thing I've learned from cruising MSC so often is that the dessert is something that they do better than all of the other cruise lines here in the US. I don't know what it is, but their baked goods, their breads, their pizzas, and their desserts. There's just something a little extra special about them on these ships. I still haven't eaten though. We can't do dessert first. Let's hit the rest of the buffet. Lunch is gonna be pretty quick on here. I just grabbed a burger and a fry. I have to get ready for my live stream, which means I gotta go charge all my stuff. And my phone is just about dead. Live stream takes place in about an hour and a half, so it's gonna need probably all the time it can get to charge on that slow ship electricity. So I'm gonna dig in. See that cheese sauce? Just like Davina. MSG does fries pretty good. Okay, I'd be remiss if I didn't give a comparison to Guy's Burgers. There's no comparison. MSC does a really good job with food and it's solid, but when you brand something specific to like a cheeseburger, nothing else is gonna compare, especially not like a buffet pre-wrapped cheeseburger. This is pretty nice though, comes with toppings. It's time for dessert though. Oh, oh, oh. gimme, gimme, gimme. This stuff looks good. Whoa, this camera's crazy right now. You know, it's such a beautiful day here in Miami. I figured why not just bring dessert back to the cabin. I think I got like an eclair, a little tart, and I believe this is carrot cake. Probably should be eating this with a fork. Almost looks like there's pineapple in it. Let's check it out. That's carrot cake. And that is very good. All our crew members are regularly drilled in fire safety. It's mustering time, and that means no elevators. Going down a muster station on deck seven. It's F. Oh, we're here. Let's get scanned in. Yeah. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's it. Muster station done. It all happened so fast, I didn't even get it on video, but now I'm a fish swimming upstream, so I gotta be responsible and turn this camera off. And we'll see you up in the room. We got a live stream to get ready for. Let's go. Tell you what, if you are a person who likes to watch boats, Miami is the place to be. Oh my goodness. Just cruising out of here. The amount of boats that I've seen that just are amazing. I can't, I can't even see it back here. There's millions of dollars right back there. Oh, I would love to get on board one of those. Old Captain Corey could really tear up the water. Heads up, midships family. We are about to get a show. Check this guy out. He's showing off. And there it is, just like that. Say goodbye to dry land. Say hello to 14 nights. Caribbean, Bahamas, Mexico. Oh man. Sheesh, I am heckin' late right now for dinner. Let's get rolling. To be honest though, I don't even know where the restaurant is, but we are in a rush to find it. You know what? I don't know why they don't put that cool map, sorry, in all the staterooms. That would only make way too much sense. 
just about bowled somebody over coming out of my room. Just probably watch where I'm going. All right, time for the elevators that don't work. Five car D. Well, this is gonna be a problem. The elevators, at least the ones outside of my cabin, haven't really worked since I got on the ship. Not sure what's going on, if they're just that busy or if they just really don't work. So, looks like we're gonna get a lot of exercise on this cruise. Running down from 14 to five for everything. Okay, dinner time here on the MSC Seashore. Got the, uh, the Caesar salad gonna start off with tonight here. Then we're doing prime rib, which historically I haven't liked, but someone else here at the table had some and it looked pretty good to me. And then I'm still up in the air on dessert. We're gonna have to make an on the fly decision on that one. Check out this salad. All right, dinner update. The salad is finished. It was like a toddler sized salad. Did you see that thing? Tiny, I got made fun of at my table, it was sad. But the prime rib is here, look at that. Oh man, actually, I'll just show you the picture. Can't wait to dig in, let's go. All right, my buddy Jay just brought the dessert. He got the hook up, he heard me talking about this crema catalana, and we got a little raspberry sorbet. Looking forward to dessert. Oh, man, it's been such a long day. Check this out. Last year they had three food. Okay. Jay brought me the crema catalana. I could lick this clean. This was delicious. Great job, MSC. Great job. I want to take a second just to tell you, I hate these elevators now that I've used them. It's unfortunate because it seems really cool, but I want to I want to know where the damn car is. <laughs> wow, that was mega zoomed in. Just getting back from dinner. I am stuck. Wow, that was really good. Spending a little bit of quality time out here on the balcony. I can see eight other cruise ships right here. It is busy, busy. There's a big Oasis class ship over here off the aft of ours. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to really see any of these. There's a fantasy class from Carnival. Now, if that is a fantasy class, it's probably the Elation, and it's probably out of Jacksonville. You know, the one that just had the fight on it. Well, I've got some editing to do before we have fun. All work but no play. Big Korea doll captain. 